It is Wednesday, October 27th, and I am remotely connected to a client that uh, just is experiencing a few uh, minor anomalies with her Microsoft Word. And one item is how it, uh, the view is, is formatting itself where normally in Microsoft Word, this is Word 2003, there's usually some uh, space up near the top margin uh, before the blinking cursor starts up. And at this point, the cursor is actually at the very top portion of the document where typically it, it would be uh, down a little further and there would be like an L uh, symbol on both sides here and here. For example, on my system, I'll bring up Microsoft Word here and I'll show you how it should come up. There it is. See how you've got the L shapes here. So on the client's computer, it's not showing it that way. So that's what I'm going to figure out. And on top of that, um, she is in need of doing letters, uh, some uh, envelopes and labels. And she's found that when she uh, puts in the text and is ready to edit the labels, calls up a new document option, none of the borders show up. So. She's unable to know where the borders of each of the labels are. Normally, it would show. For, and as a uh, an example, if we did it through my computer here, tools, letters, mailings, and then we uh, said hello, new document. You can see how there are borders here. I just have a different uh, label formatting, different size, but that's just how it is. So that's what I'll be figuring out. Should be something fairly simple. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. Well, uh, what I found, how it's corrected now, there's spacing there, and now we can actually adjust the ruler. We just had to go to Tools and the Options under the View tab. View tab, we're looking for a white space between pages, so we want to keep this checked in. If you uncheck it, the result is that we don't have white space in between pages. So if we were to type further down to the end of this page and then start a new page, there would, there would only be a thin border. So by going to the Tools menu, um, Options, the View tab, and then hitting, putting a check mark there, you'll get the appropriate spacing. So that when you scroll to the bottom of the page, there's also that spacing here too, denoting the bottom border. Now as far as the, the, um, the visible borders when you're putting in the labels, uh, for example, what we had to do to correct that was actually click on the um, uh, it'll, there's an option that says show grid line. So when you click on that, it then you know gives you the option to hide it. But this is how we'd want it to look like, where this icon looks kind of highlighted, and then it shows hide grid lines. That just means that right now we're showing grid lines. So that's what we want it to look like. So if we go to tools, letters, mailing, envelopes, and labels, we type in some sample text. And, you talk, and there we go. We've got all the borders that we're looking for. So that's how that works. All done.